Hello penguins, it's Friday, hooray! And as I said yesterday, we're going to paint some flowers with some of the equipment that I dropped off to you. Um, so I'm going to put the camera down like this so that you can see the plate that I've got here for mixing paints and I've got the paper here. And I'm going to put my prime number, sorry, my prime colours on the plate. Do you remember what they are? There's some blue and some yellow and some red. And I'm also going to use a little bit of white. Now, I wonder how good you are at remembering how we mixed our colours. Can you remember what do we get when we mixed blue and red? Shall we have a look? A little bit of blue. And a little bit of red. Mix together. makes purple. Do you remember that? So I've got blue, I've got red and I've got purple. If I mix the blue and the yellow together, what did that give us? Let's have a look shall we and remind ourselves. So I've got a little bit of blue and I'm going to get a little bit of yellow. Pop that there. And then I'm going to mix it together to get green. The other thing we did, if you remember, was mix white with a little bit of red. You remember what that gave us? It gave us pink. So now I started off with my three prime colours and a white and I've now got green, blue, yellow, red, purple, pink and white. And I'm going to make myself a tree. I dropped you off some felt tip pens as well. And I'm going to use this one just to make myself a very simple tree like this. And I'm sure that you've noticed on your walks that all the trees have got lovely blossom in them at the moment. So I thought you might like to do a tree of blossom. I've got some bubble wrap, which you've also got in your pack. And I think I'm going to use some of the pink. I'm going to press it into the pink like this. And you see, and when I put it on my tree, it looks like lovely blossom. The other thing I can do is have some of the white and some of this lovely pink and use my bubble wrap to go in the pipe white and the pink and maybe even a little bit of the red like this and then when I do my tree I get dark pink, light pink and white. What do you think? That's one idea of what you could do. I'm going to make some flowers as well. And for that, I'm going to use a fork. I'm going to need a little bit more paint for this. And I think I'm going to make some lovely blue flowers. 
and maybe some yellow ones too. I'm going to mix some water in with the yellow. And I'm going to do the yellow ones first. I'm either going to do this with my paint or I'm going to paint the fork tips like this. And then what I can do is press the fork down on the paper. And I can either go around in a circle like this and make a daisy and then add a little bit of green to make the stem and maybe some flowers, some, sorry, some leaves. And I think maybe I'll use some of the purple that I made right in the middle. And there's my daisy flower. What I could do is use my fork technique. I'm going to put some blue on this time to make a flower that looks a bit like a tulip. And I'm going to press it like this. I turn it that way up, you can see. I think I'm going to do a purple one as well. And maybe a yellow one. And this time I'm going to use a pen to make some leaves and a stalk. I'm going to have a stalk like this. I'm not sure if you can see that very well on the computer. Let me see if I can find a darker green. There we go. There's my stalk. And there's this stalk and this stalk and maybe some leaves at the bottom. And I've got some rather lovely looking tulips. I'm going to do one other type of flower. Some of you really enjoyed using cotton buds for flowers. And what you could do is use a cotton bud to make lots of flowers like this. You could even put a lot of cotton buds together and put them all in the paint. And make some flowers that look like this. They look a bit like daisies, don't they? Lots and lots of different ideas. What you could try is painting the flower that we had yesterday. And you see, you could use the fork to create these black lines or just a paintbrush and try and do these petals out of purple and yellow. I can see one, two, three, four yellow leaves here and then a purple one at the top. And just here, there's a little purple spot on the bottom. Why don't you have a go and see if you can paint that as well. I hope you have a lovely weekend, penguins, and I hope you've had a great week too. And I'll see you again next week. Bye bye. Happy weekend.